Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome to the wonderful world of not Constantinople here in Cities Skylines. Last episode, we started building a new community called Not Troy, based between uh, some new freeways that we constructed. We're starting to fill in a little bit of the map south of the airport. But we left off last time, and I was waiting for these uh, industries down here to upgrade to level 3, and it looks like they're getting there, but they're just, just not happy enough. Is it a happiness thing? I don't think it's a happiness thing. They're certainly happy. I think what they need is another school. So we're going to get them a high school. And I think that's all they're going to want. I mean, they have, they have fire. They have some fire. Let's get them another fire department. There you go. Is that enough? No, they're going to need more than that. Okay, let's get in that high school. Because we need a high school anyway. Oh, it doesn't fit there. Oh, darn. Uh, okay. There you go. Will that do? Will that do it? Do we not have a police department out here? We do, we do have a police department? Yep. We have a clinic. We have a crematorium. Hmm, interesting. Surely that's enough services. Well, we'll check on this later, but I think that's enough services. I think they're just being silly. Anyway, back to Not Troy. Right here between these two freeways. Oh, wow, look at this. It's already going level 5. It's already going level 5. We barely have to touch this thing, and it's like, whoop, level 5. Let's put some more commerce on this road. Commerce. Actually, let's link up these roads first. Then we'll put some commerce in there. And we're going to need our freeway exits and entrances, of course. And I am so bad at designing cities. <laughs> Someone actually posted on the first episode of this series, like, oh, you need to go watch someone else because you're obviously an idiot and you don't know what you're doing. If I was going to watch someone else, I wouldn't be making my own videos, would I? <laughs> City building games are all about play styles. My play style is going to be different from everyone else's. That's why I play. Well, that and I really enjoy city building games. I absolutely love city building games. Uh oh, can I not put a post there? Can we just go straight across? Oh, I can just go straight, straight across. Even better. Look at that, no post in the middle. Nice. But yeah, I mean, if you don't like my playstyle, that's perfectly fine. Don't watch my playstyle. I'm not going to change my playstyle just because you like someone else's playstyle more. I play games the way I want to play games. And I hope you guys understand that. There we go. Up and over. Nice. And let's hook it up. Oh, slope too steep, hey? Oh, I've heard that before. I don't believe you. Slope too steep, really. What if we go up? What if we go up? Look at that. It's not too steep anymore. Is it, game? It wasn't different at all. Was it, Steve? Slip too steep. Don't give me that crap. Hmm. Still says too steep. Come on now. It doesn't want to fit. Damn it. What if we go this way? There we go. <laughs> So derpy. I love it. Uh, yeah, just get on the wrong side of the freeway. It's all good, man. No one will notice. It's perfectly normal. Oh, same problem. Might just connect right here instead. Yeah, just do that instead. Oh, 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 oh. There you go. Not the best. It'll do. 
does not need to be perfect. There we go. Lovely. Lovely. All right, let's get some commercial along here. Oh, wait. Let's drag this around first. Because we probably should. There you go. All right, commercial along here. Wow, residential demand is skyrocketing as well. But first, the commercial. What they really need to add is a paintbrush tool that fills in all the blocks that that paintbrush touches. And I don't just mean the individual squares, I mean the entire block. Like with the fill tool, it fills a block at a time, which is nice. I like the fill tool. And I kind of wish the paintbrush would do the same thing the fill tool does, but on a larger scale. So we could paint and fill uh, a large area at the same time. It'd be very cool. Not Troy is going to have a ton of business. Holy crap. This might be too much to lay down all at once. Nah, no such thing. Okay, residences on the other side. One thing that curved roads do very poorly is putting down blocks. Like... Right here is a 2x2, two two, and next to it is a 1x1. One one. And this is because of the curved roads. 2x2, two two, next to it is some weird shaped block. What I have not seen any city builders do, and it'd be really cool if there was a city builder that did this, is have triangular shaped building pieces. So for instance, this is all based on squares, 1x1 one one squares. And then the squares that uh, are that are there will just will determine what size buildings will spawn on that tile. But if you used triangles, then you could get around a lot of these problems with shapes. Like this little corner could be a triangular building. But I haven't seen any city builders add like triangular building parts. And if they did, uh, they could easily have uh, a whole bunch of stuff around curves and things like that. Are we good on uh, oh, water? Yeah, water's pretty good. But we're going to need more piping. Let's get some more piping. More. Mower. But yeah, block building parts really only work in blocks of blocks. But triangles can be used to make blocks as well. You can use a triangle to make a square. You can also use a triangle to make larger triangles. Or you can use a triangle to make a trapezoid. And if there were buildings based on, you know, certain triangular shapes, you could have a lot more variety in your cities. Instead of just boxes. Everywhere boxes. Oh, you want to place a university? That's a box. You want to place a school? That's a box. You want a fire department? It's a box. You want an airport? It's a box. Everything in this game is a box. And pretty much every city builder I've ever seen, everything is a box. You, you guys are sick. Why are you sick? Why are you sick, bro? We have capacity for tons and tons of people. Why are you sick? There's a clinic right next to you. You know what I think it is? I think it's uh, this part of town over here that's causing uh, the other parts of town to have trouble. So we're going to space this out. Let's move. We're going to 
remove our industry. Let's get rid of it. That'll get rid of the sickness here. And that should alleviate the sickness at the other parts of town as well, because this place was providing, was causing tons of sick people, and they were filling up all of our clinics with the sick people. But by removing the industry here, it'll get rid of the uh, sickness in these houses. We'll just replace it with some parks or something. We have a bouncy castle by the freeway. Another bouncy castle by the freeway. Enjoy your bouncy castles. There you go. Alright, so what do we want to put in here? Just some trees? Maybe a botanical garden? Yeah. see if the bouncy castle removal is going to really affect anything because we have a botanical garden here it should be fine okay you guys are still sick why the pollution should be gone here oh it's ground pollution all right yeah let's put down trees and stuff that'll help At least I think it'll help. I should really check the original part of town where we had uh, some industry right next to the residential at the start. And I want to see if the ground pollution is gone by now because it's been several years. I mean, it's 2042. Where's the Detroit section of town? Well, it was supposed to be this area, really. This area was meant to have no education, no parks, no nothing. It was supposed to be crap. But the people still wound, the people still found ways to get happy, and they still found ways to get educated. So it turned into not Detroit. But it was supposed to be Detroit. It really was, and it just didn't happen. We just we could not find a way to prevent them from getting educations. Like, if we... Oh, well, that's, that looks nice now. It looks like Central Park. If we um, if we cut the freeway access so they had no way to get to a school, then that would also mean that the agriculture industry over here wouldn't have any access to the freeway. It was kind of... There's just no way around it. All right, what's wrong? They're sick. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. All right, so let me check out the original part of town where we had tons of industry. It was right here. Here. Wasn't it? Yeah, this is the original part of town right here. So this office block used to be industry. Let's check out the pollution here. It's gone. Okay. So the pollution does go away over time. Good. That means this pollution will also go away over time. So these people should stop being sick sooner or later. Fantastic. All right, back to Not Troy. How is Not Troy doing? Not Troy is looking pretty amazing. Everything's growing rapidly. People are quite happy out here. Let's check happiness out here. Oh yeah, they're fucking happy. Except uh, these houses, they're not happy. What's wrong, bro? What's wrong, bro? If you mouse over the face, it should really tell you why they're not happy. But, no, there's no... Oh, there you go. Now he's happy. He just... He was grumpy for a day. What about you? Why are you unhappy? Huh? Why are you unhappy? Oh, it's because they're empty. Right. That, I forgot about that. People told me that if the building is empty, the building... Yeah, so empty buildings are always unhappy. That's what it is. And as soon as people move in, they get happy. No police in Detroit. <laughs>
Yeah, this part of town is growing so quickly. I like the look of it too. Like this just wedge of everything. Okay, you're getting sick. From what? Is that noise pollution sickness? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, shit. There is a fucking incinerator here. I forgot about the incinerator. Um, that's why they're getting sick. I'm an idiot. There's an incinerator there. Let's, uh, let's put the incinerator over here. Let's put a couple of them there. Wow, I'm dumb. park there or something to get rid of some of that pollution. Holy crap. There you go. Yeah, just uh, put some swing sets, some teeter-totters, and some slides there, and let the kids play in the pollution. Sounds like fun. Put some trees down, too. Hide the pollution. No, there's nothing here. It's it's all clean, everyone. There's no pollution. It's your imagination. No pollution at all. No, nope, don't don't see the don't see the gray ground. The gray ground is where you have ground pollution. Just just no gray ground. We'll just hide it. There you go. Sweep it under the rug. It's all good. No, 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 no gray ground here. <laughs> oh, oh shit. No, no, no gray ground there. There's a bouncy castle on the pollution. Jesus Christ. there. No pollution at all. This is where I need Penultimo's help, so he can take the responsibility for this pollution. Get it off my back. Hello, Lex Orange. So that pollution will eventually go away. Oh, you need water out there. Crap. Fine, I'll give you some water. Fucking crybabies. We want water. Life's hard. Can we have free water? I want free water for life. There we go. Nice. Yep, hi pilot. So garbage is now handled on this side of the freeway. Should leave this area alone. We could put some industry over there by the by the water. Perhaps. So right now, demand is for residential. Let's put some more of that in. Whoops. There we go. And here's a good example of shapes being problems. So this area here is a two by four block but the building can only be a 2x2. Two two. There are no 2x4 two buildings. So this 2x2 two two block in the back will never be used by anything ever. And it's the same problem uh, over here. This is a 2x4 two block. Actually, there's a 2x2 two two block there. But yeah, there's a 2x2 two two block here, which is never going to be used because it has no road access. 2x2 two two block here, never going to be used because it has no road access. 2x2 two two block, same thing. So all of this land that looks like you can, because you can color it, you can you can zone it for residential, but you can never have a residence there because uh, because it doesn't have road access and it can't get road access. That's one of the problems with uh, this game's block design. 
every building is a rectangle or a square. There are no built like over here, there's a two by two block that can never be used because it doesn't have road access. But yeah, every building is a square. So you're not gonna find buildings that use things uh, perfectly. Like this residential block is, let's see, three. It's a three by two taped to a four by two. There's a four by two block on the road and then a three by two block behind it. But there's no building in the game that uses that particular shape. So part of that shape just gets neglected. Oh well. I really should name streets, name boulevards and parkways, avenues, but you can't. So how's freeway traffic over here? It's actually not bad. Yeah, seems pretty okay. I see something troubling. People are going this way and then turning to go over there. Interesting. So I don't have a way to get over there. Okay, let's make a way to get over there. Or just around, I guess. I guess that works. Um, sure. if that's what I want, but it'll do. God, that looks fucked up. And wow, yeah, there's a lot of people waiting to get through this, inter this intersection here. I mean, it's not that bad, because the traffic does get through, but it looks bad. So this is all people wanting to get on the freeway, okay. Does anyone go the other way on the freeway? Can they go? Oh, they can't even go the other way on the freeway. They have no way to go the other way on the freeway. Oh, wow, that is a major oversight. Whoops. All right, no, 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 I gotta redo this. There's no way to go, there's no way to go the other way on the freeway. That will not do. Let's just do this. Slope too steep. Really? Game. Again with that crap. There you go. Alright, so that means people from here... Yeah, that works. But it also means we add stoplights on here. Whatever. So we have stoplights. Big deal. Big deal. At least people can now get on the freaking freeway in the correct direction. Hmm. 
Interesting. That'll help, actually, because it means people don't have to travel all the way over to that over there to get on the freeway this way. They can just come up here and go there. Nice. There you go, people getting on the freeway. Cool. How are we doing on zoning over here? We good? Need more? Need more residential. All right, need some uh, commercial as well. I can accommodate that. Yeah, look at all these unused residential squares. Just because of the curved roads. And this is why I'm not a big fan of the curved roads in this game. Because the buildings don't get built there. They just don't. I wish they did. But they don't build properly on curved roads. down there. Block some of the sound. There we go. Still have the ground pollution here. Let me check in um, <clears throat> Rosewood Square, see if we still have the ground pollution here. It looks like we do. Oh, it's, it's almost gone. Good. The, the ground pollution is almost gone. And the trees are doing a pretty good job of keeping it... No, they're not. The trees are not doing a good job of keeping it out over here. Okay. Huh. So we need a, a little bit of... A, a little bigger buffer than this. One, one block is not enough room between the industry and the residential to prevent the pollution. So this needs to be dezoned. And this can be partially dezoned. Like there. And we'll put in something else over there. Maybe some more commercial. Sure. This guy's been dezoned and he's still here. You know what? I've got a bulldozer. And I know how to use it. That should help. Put trees in the empty spots that beautify your ugly city. The city is not ugly. The city is gorgeous. And yeah, we can definitely add some trees. It'd be cool if you could just hold down the mouse while you're dragging the while you're putting trees down, just have it plant everywhere your mouse goes. But it doesn't work that way. And it'd be really cool if parks didn't have to have road access. Like, if you built... If you built blocks like we have here, where there's this gap, and you're never going to have any buildings in this gap, it'd be cool if you could just put a park over there. Just call it a park. Let people use it as a park can't do that though. You can put like a pedestrian walkway through there. That's about it. Beardless Shen is beardless. Yep. It happens. I also cut myself over here yesterday. Because I am bad. Put a road down, put a park down, and delete the road and use the walkway to reach it. Yeah. But I kind of feel like you shouldn't even have to have the walkway. Like, the park should include walkways. It should just be part of the park. If that makes sense. Oh, he doesn't. I, I speak gibberish most of the time. I don't even realize it. Like, when my brain formulates a sentence, 
it usually doesn't come out the same way that I think of it. It comes out in some mutilated form that no one understands. Even I don't understand what I'm saying sometimes. How's the pollution over here, by the way? Did we clean it up? Yeah, the pollution's gone. Sweet. We did it, Reddit. All right, let's get another metro down over here. Put it in the commercial district. Hook that shit up. We might want to add some buses over here. In fact, I think I do. Let's put some bus stops down here. I don't want to make the uh, bus routes too long, though. They'll be pretty compact. There you go. Let's do another one maybe over here. There we go. Another one over here. go. Makes people nice and happy. I have a bus. Yeah, you have a bus. What do you want? Some type of award? Mr. Bus Man. Hey, Mr. Bus Man, bus me that bus man. Oh. Bus routes are pretty awesome. People love buses. And it really prevents a lot of uh, traffic. Although they do use the streets. You can fit 30 people in a bus and you can only really fit one person in a car. I'm pretty sure cars don't do any carpooling in this game. Like, I don't think parents take their kids to school in a car. Hello, H07. My timer's done? Okay, cool. I guess that means we should end this episode. Fantastic. Thank you for watching, everybody. I've been Shen Yu Bin Yu. Not Troy is growing at a rapid rate. We're at 98,000 people. We're so close to 100K. I can't wait. That'll have to be next time. I'll see you then. Have a good day.